good dog. Bark, bark, bark. Lionel, where's that barking coming from? Bark, 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 bark. I think it's coming from this bookcase. Bark, 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 bark. Got it. Well, yeah, let's see, son. All righty, let's see here. How to be a good dog. Ah, you did find it, son. Good oh, job. Crack. Oh, right. Well, let's read it. Okay, let's see here. How to be a good dog, written and illustrated by Gail Page. All right. I like an author with the last name Page. <laughs> Gotta be good. <laughs> Somehow appropriate, right? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right. Bobo tried hard to be a good dog. He loved to hear Mrs. Birdhead say, You're a good dog, Bobo. Come, let's get you a treat. But being good was sometimes very difficult. Mark, 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 mark! And when Bobo was a bad dog, Mrs. Birdhead got strict. Bobo missed Mrs. Birdhead. He even missed Cat. And much to Cat's surprise, she missed Bobo. How could she get him back into the house? With a few easy commands, you can teach your dog to be good. The book said. When Mrs. Birdhead went out to run errands, Cat gave Bobo his first lesson. They began with shake. It went very well. Next was fetch. Oops, Bobo missed. Luckily, the window was open. Heel turned out to be very handy. Then it was time to practice sit. Lie down was next. It came naturally to Bobo. Roll over was a bit harder. But stay was the easiest command of all. Well, it was easy until... Mrs. Birdhead came home with the groceries. Cat tried to control Bobo. Sit! Stay! Lie down! Heel! But nothing worked. Bobo couldn't wait to show Mrs. Birdhead everything he had learned. Kapow! But before Mrs. Birdhead could get mad, Bobo showed her how he could shake, sit, lie down, roll over, heel, fetch. You are a good dog, Bobo. And when Mrs. Birdhead told him he was a good dog, Bobo stayed and stayed and stayed. The end. <laughs> oh, cool. I didn't know you could teach a dog so many new tricks. Mm. Quack! Yeah. yeah, well, I'm glad you guys enjoyed it. Yeah. Well, I, I better go put this back on the shelf. Yeah, thanks, Dad. Yeah, I'll take it for a walk. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Lionel. Hey, Lionel. Huh? What you doing, huh? Want to uh, play something? Uh, I know, I, I know. How about uh, a piggyback ride? Uh, huh? Huh? Come on, come on. Right. A piggyback ride. Come I on. sure <laughs> wish there was a book that could teach a lion cub how to train his little sister. Yeah. <gasps> Sit. On. Sit? Sit. But I want a piggyback ride. Hmm, that didn't work. <gasps> roll over. Why would I want to roll over? Hmm. Coming up next on Between the Lions, you'll get hooked on the boom sound made by Double O. Hey, I'm hanging here anyway. I might as well watch. And so should you. Good. Double O. Oh. Oh. Double O. Wood. Hood. Hook. 
book. And now, the Dixie Chimps sing the double O um sound. Woohoo! I'm seeing double, yeah, double O. I'm seeing O, O, nearly every place I go. There's book and took and hook and brook and crook and cooking. It sounds like up and double O. to the blending bowl. I'm Terry Bradshaw and I'll be doing the play-by-play -play today for this incredible showdown. In red, we have Team <laughs> And in white, we have Team Ook. <laughs> and there's the kickoff. <laughs> Cook. Unbelievable, what a play. Well, that's about it, folks. And until next time for the Blending Bowl, I'm Terry Bradshaw. Hey, thanks for watching. And now, a word from Mr. Fred Newman. point. Some different words for good or thus my favorite one is fabulous and marvelous and splendid and the list is far from ended. Fantastic, terrific, so swell and so specific which brings us back to fabulous my favorite word for good which brings him back to fabulous his favorite word for good ladies and gentlemen boys and girls presenting the incredible daring trampolini brothers performing the good better best high wire extravaganza arturo is good lorenzo is better is the best. Good. Better. Best. <laughs> Folks, let's hear it for the... Uh-oh. The terrific Trampolini Brothers. Yeah, every letter comes big and small. Some look real different. One short, one's tall. Here's what you call them. Each has a place, we call them lower and uppercase. Hey, uppercase, you start my name. Big V and Vinny looks just the same. As little Felix, except it's big. That's uppercase, man, I hope you do. Hey, lowercase, you never start. A name or sentence But cross my heart You're so important Yeah, you're the best Cause lowercase you do all the rest When you read letters I'm hoping you Check out the difference Between the two Lower is little Upper is tall I rest my case, man I said it Short story time with Artie's 
party bears. Hello. Oh, oh, oh. oh Arky Smarty Pants went splat. And that's just what happens to a tomato in this book here. Let's see. Uh, no, the chicken. Where's the book? In? Ah, here it is. Bump, thump, splat by Phyllis Root. Illustrated by Catherine McEwen. Ooh, ah. And now Artie is going to read. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Tabby Cat swats a potato. <laughs> Bump. Away goes the potato. Tabby Cat swats a carrot. Thump. Away goes the carrot. Tabby Cat swats a tomato. Splat. Away goes the tomato. Oh, uh oh, here comes Mommy. Scat. Away goes Tabby Cat. The end. Oh, I love that kitty cat. And now, ooh, ha, say goodbye to me. Ooh, ha. Ah. Oh. Double O. Good. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> Sit. <laughs> Shake. <laughs> Who wants a treat? Who wants a treat? <laughs> Fetch. Ah, oh, good sister, good sister. Give it here. Give it. Here. Come on, drop it, drop it, drop it, drop it, drop it. Ah. <laughs> good sister. Come on, come on, come on. Ooh, do 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 do. Ah, la la la. Who's a good sister? Who's a good sister? Lino. <sighs> Lino, Lino, wake up. <laughs> I can dream, can't I? Oh, come on, Lionel. <laughs> Piggy bed, please. Please, please, please. Come okay. on, Lionel. Okay, come on. One, two. Ha! Wee! 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 Good doggy. Sit. Stay up. Stay. Watch this. Good doggy. Not afraid of dogs. Mama, what was that? Hmm. Oh, it's in this book right here. Uh -huh. Maybe we should read it and find out why. Uh, 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 I'm okay. Okay. I I'm not afraid. No, I'm really, I'm really not afraid. It's okay. Go ahead. <laughs> okay, read it. honey. Let's see. Hmm. Okay, read it fast, okay? <laughs> okay, sweetheart. <laughs> Not Afraid of Dogs by Susanna Pitzer. Illustrations by Larry Day. Oh, okay. Here we go. I'm the bravest boy of all, said Daniel. I'm not afraid of spiders. I'm not afraid of snakes. I'm not even afraid of thunderstorms. You're afraid of dogs, said his sister Jenny. I'm not afraid of dogs, said Daniel. I just don't like them. Daniel stayed away from dogs. He crossed the street when he saw one. He left the playground if a dog was there. He took the stairs if one was on the elevator. But Daniel didn't know what to do when he came home and found his mom holding one. Mom, I don't like dogs. I know, honey, but Aunt Rose had to go on a trip. Bandit has no other place to stay. <laughs> Don't be a fraidy cat, said Jenny. I'm not a fraidy cat, said Daniel. I'm the bravest boy of all. Daniel shut his door and locked it. Dad came home, and Daniel ran to greet him. But when Daniel saw Bandit, he raced back to his room. Daniel, what's wrong? Called Dad. He's afraid of dogs, said Jenny. I'm not afraid of dogs, yelled Daniel. I just don't like them. Daniel sat alone in his room. Time for supper, 
called Mom. I'm not hungry, called Daniel. He's afraid, said Jenny. Am not, yelled Daniel. Mom brought Daniel a plate of food. Honey, you have to come out sometime. Bandit won't hurt you. Daniel just closed his door. That night, Daniel had to go to the bathroom. Outside, he heard a loud thunderstorm. I'm the bravest boy of all, thought Daniel. Even thunderstorms don't scare me. Daniel opened his door a crack. No bandit in sight. He ran into the bathroom. Phew, safe. <coughs> cried Bandit from behind the toilet. Daniel was too scared to move. There was a clap of thunder. Bandit yelped and ran under Daniel's legs. Oh, oh, oh. Daniel screamed and jumped into the bathtub. Bandit tried to jump in, too, but she wasn't big enough. Stay away, said Daniel. His heart pounded. <coughs> cried Bandit. Daniel and Bandit stared at each other. Then Daniel's eyebrows crinkled. You're not after me. You're afraid of thunderstorms. cried Bandit. Daniel's voice softened. Don't be scared. He slowly reached his hand over the tub. With one finger, Daniel touched Bandit's shaking paw. Her fur was soft. Bandit licked his finger. Daniel jerked it back. It tickled. Daniel climbed out of the bathtub and knelt down. It's all right, Bandit. Daniel picked her up. His heart was beating fast. He'd never held a dog before. Bandit stopped yowling. Daniel carried Bandit into his room and put her on the bed. You can sleep with me tonight. Bandit stopped shaking. She snuggled beside Daniel and fell asleep. Bravest boy of all, thought Daniel. I'm not afraid of spiders. I'm not afraid of snakes. I'm not even afraid of thunderstorms. And I do like dogs. The end. Oh, so that little dog was howling because she was afraid. <laughs> That's right, Leona. <laughs> wow, what a good book that is. My brother, watch this. <laughs> hey, Mom. Yes, Lionel? Dad wants you to taste his everything in the kitchen stew to see what's missing. Okay. Oh, can you turn off the lights before you come up? Mm. Thank you. Mwah. Theo? I don't smell the low-fat yak! <laughs> <laughs> Told you, Dad. <laughs> hey, what's this? Not afraid of dogs. <laughs> I'm not afraid of dogs. <laughs> What else is scary? Watch what's coming up next. Ooh, ah! All about everything, one thing at a time. <laughs> and now the information hen. Oh, welcome. What thing will we learn today? Turn, 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 and stop. All about being scared. Oh, lots of things can make you feel scared. <laughs> Like, uh, like, like thunderstorms and, uh, some kinds of music. Ooh. Or sounds that make you wonder where they're coming from. Or no sound at all. 
Oh, 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 everybody gets scared sometimes. Even information hands. That's all for... All about everything, one thing at a time. Whew. That sure rattled my bones. How about you? Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, presenting the incredible, daring Trampolini Brothers, performing the brave human cannonball hoopla. Ready, Artero! Arturo is brave. Ready, Lorenzo. Lorenzo is braver. Ready, Felix. Felix is the bravest. Brave, braver, bravest. Folks, let's hear it for the terrific Trampolini Brothers. Hi there. I'm Synonym Sam. Girl genius. I'm getting to that, Rufus. Welcome to my bedroom. Uh, I mean, my lab. My dog, Rufus, will assist me in my demonstration. Now, with my super synonym machine, I will be able to demonstrate the meaning of words. Ready, Rufus? Scared. <laughs> Terrified. Petrified. <laughs> Today's demonstration was a complete success. I'd like to thank my assistant, Rufus. Take a bow, Rufus. Rufus? Whoops. Better turn this off. <laughs> Off the shelf once again. It's the continuing daring and dangling adventures of Cliffhanger. Today's adventure, book 212, Cliffhanger, The Lapdog, and The Riddle. Cliffhanger, hanging from a cliff, and that's why he's called Cliffhanger. Excuse me, excuse me. We find Cliffhanger where we left him last, hanging from a cliff. Can't hold on much longer. Suddenly, Cliff spots a father and daughter sitting at the edge of his cliff. Father, I've got a riddle to tell you. No riddles till we find you a lapdog. That's why we're here. Quickly, Cliff reaches into his backpack and extracts... His trusty survival manual. Using his expert decoding skills, Cliff begins to read. If you see a father looking for a lapdog, don't be afraid to put on a lapdog costume and go woof woof. I am not afraid. Woof woof. Father, look. Has good fortune smiled on our brave hero at last? Now this is scary! Oh. Now that you have your lapdog, you can tell me your riddle. Okay. What's the one thing you lose every time you stand up? I don't know. Tell me. Your lap! <laughs> and that's why he's called Cliffhanger! Can't hold on much longer! Where is everybody? But I guess the library's closed. Well, I might as well stay here till morning. Nice safe place. Oh, comfy chairs. <laughs> Nothing to be afraid of. Lionel, dear, mm. did you remember to turn off the lights? Ah, sorry, Mom. Turn off the lights? Oh, oh, 
It's okay. I'm not afraid. I'm not. <laughs> twinkle, twinkle, little star. Yo, check it out! We're going surfing without a board, dudes! Okay, because we're surfing between the lion's website. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Go to pbskids.org.